Hey, it's Mr. Bison, and I want to give you some good luck and some advice for your exam that you're going to be have coming up on Tuesday, your first pure exam. So the number one thing I like to say to students is you should be thinking of this exam a bit like a game. The grade boundaries are probably a lot lower than you think that they would be. So in 2019, an A star was 73%, an A was 55%, a B was 45%, and a C was 35%. Let's say you're aiming for an A. That means 55% is the number of marks you need to get. That means there's 45% of the exam that you don't need to get right. Now, of course, this was just the grade boundaries in 2019, and it might be different this year, but the key message is that they are not going to be as high as you think. So when I say to think of it like as a game, that means that you shouldn't be spending too long on questions that are only worth one or two marks. If it's just a couple of marks and you've been spending four or five minutes on it, you are not using a good exam strategy. You need to move on and try and get the marks from somewhere else. To try and calculate how many minutes you should be spending per mark, it is 1.2 minutes per mark, but you might want to do some of the questions quicker than that so that you have more time to spend on some that are a little bit trickier, and those are usually towards the end there. Things like binomial are not going to come up in paper one. If you haven't looked at the advanced information, you must look through that because it's going to help you prioritise what topics you need to have memorised just before you go into the exam hall. I would recommend going in and having the formula book opened up on the pages that you think are going to be the most useful to you right at the beginning of the exam as well. And anything that you're not so sure about, anything that you can't get into your long-term memory, I would have it on a flashcard and I would look at that, the last thing that I look at before I go into the exam hall. And as soon as I open up that paper, I would write it down somewhere so that I have it ready to go just in case I need it. I'm thinking of things like the double angle formulae um, and bits and bobs like that that could be helpful. I personally like to flick through the whole exam paper just to see if there are any questions that look a bit weird or a bit different because it gives my brain a bit of processing time to think what the approach might be to that so it feels like less of a panic when I get to that question. You must make sure that you try and do something from every single question. There are going to be easy marks, whether it's from part A, part B, part C, that you can get, even if you don't get the full correct answer. And like I said, in 2019, it was 55% for an A. Yes, the grades could be higher than that. But if you're just aiming to get a grade A, you can be throwing away lots of marks here and there. And it's about treating this exam like a strategy. Please let me know how this exam goes. I want to hear about it in the comments. And I'm just wishing you the best of luck. And I'm sure it's going to go really, really well. Good luck.